What's up, YouTube? My, uh, my second uh, Spyderco Shaman just came in, and so did some scales for it. Uh, so we're going to change these stocks G10 scales to uh, Brass Flytanium. Uh, I've been waiting to do this for a long time because this was my first Shaman. Uh, obviously, it used to look exactly like this with these black G10 scales. Uh, which honestly are really nice. Uh, the clip is garbage. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the stock scales, as far as G10 scales go, they're completely contoured. They, they have like a tacky feel, but while still being very smooth. They, they're, they're nice. I just prefer more weight. Um, so originally... Uh, this is what I did to my last Spider Co. Shaman. So these are uh, black Metan Boss uh, zirconium scales with a black zirconium backspacer. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. I forget um, where it's from. It could just be some generic thing, but it works really well. Um, originally, I got a, a full black hardware set, um, but... Uh, something, I can't remember which side it was, but something stripped in the back spacer. Uh, either the screws or the spacer itself. Um, so I ended up switching back to just the original stock satin finish uh, hardware set, except for the pivot, because this third-party pivot actually worked better than the original. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, black zirconium everything. Uh, for this one, uh, just like a lot of my other knives, like this PM2, for instance, uh, brass flytanium lotus scales. Uh, the brass scales I got for the Shaman, they're just the plain flytanium scales. They're not contoured here uh, with this milling, uh, which actually, I, I like the lotus scales better, but I just couldn't find them uh, for the Shaman right now. But I found... Um, nor uh the regular ones that are pretty much just these stock scales but brass um we'll take a look at them in a sec um i just i i really like brass and i wanted to see what the shaman was going to look like with brass scales on it and uh here they are they came with this uh funny sticker uh but they look really nice um you know let's just get in there this is the first thing the shaman has ever cut, and it slides right through. It's very sharp. It feels sharper than the original, than the first one that I got. Oh, man. Flytanium never ceases to amaze me. They do such a good job. Their milling lines are just on point. I'm, I'm willing to put money on the fact that when I drop the liners from from the shaman into it that it the, they just fit perfectly because flytanium knows what they're doing and they do a very good job <clears throat> um yeah so let's get started the pivot is a, a t10 and the body screws are t8 so i've already got a 10 in here so let's um you know what i'm kind of hoping we can just do each side without completely disassembling the knife, unless it unless it seems like kind of dirty inside, in which case I'll I'll fully break it down and give it a good cleaning. Um, so I, I've been waiting to do this for a long time, and uh, anyone who actually follows me, wow, this is. Uh, this is really in there. There we go. There's at least some, uh, yeah, there's definitely some, some Loctite in here. Come on out. Do it one more time. There, uh, when I was looking for any add-ons that I could put on this, I found, uh, what was the site? Uh, five by five customs or something like that. Um, 
And they make a lot of stuff for Spyderco knives. And uh, I put some stuff in my cart and I went to check out and I re well, I don't know for sure, but uh, it sure as heck seemed like it just won't ship to Canada. Um, maybe that's because our stupid border has confiscated knives from them in the past. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, there's a really cool, um, what's it called, uh, uh, pocket clip that they do that I really wanted. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, I've got the scale off, but I am just going to take this liner out because the knife, um, the action on the knife didn't feel super smooth. Uh, so I'm going to see if, because it's very clean, I'm thinking maybe I'll just, uh, just add a touch of oil. Oh, I'm pretty low here. There we go. Just a touch on the inside here. Some on this washer. And yeah, the shaman is on washers, actually. Uh, not bearings. If the shaman was on bearings, it would be unbelievable. But... I can see why they uh, they chose washers for this particular knife because it is it, it is built super thick, super tight. Um, it's a real like outdoors knife. I'm not gonna be able to pick this washer up, am I? Uh, <clears throat> so I can see why they did choose that. Um, but man, if this, if this knife could be on, uh, bearings, that, it would be completely insane. Like, just such an insane action. It, it would have, it, it, it would just be crazy. I wonder if there's, um, a company that makes bearings that would fit this. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's get these scales on here. I'm wondering if this is going to be as simple as I was hoping. Probably not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that already looks so cool. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the pivot. Switch from T8 to T10. There we go. Oh, I really should have done a, a before and after weight with the brass versus stock because uh, it's probably significant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, if you guys have all experienced the Shaman, but it really is one of Spyderco's best knives. I, I would say, I think it's the blade shape that does it for me the most because so many of their other blade shapes are... Um, well, they all have these weird curves and stuff and you have to really like them to uh, find, I'd, like, Spyderco is well known to just generally be like an ugly knife, but it has, it has such charm to it that uh, people are just drawn to it. Uh, I remember the first time I held a Spyderco, um, I don't remember, it was some kind of flipper Spyderco, like the Amalgam, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, and it cut me, and uh, it was the first time I'd ever experienced the compression lock, oh, which is very tight right now on this, but uh, we're not done here. 
so one side is complete, the other side is still uh, the G10. So we're going to replace that as well, and then we're finished. Wow, Spider Co. I, this is definitely the most Loctite I have ever experienced Spider Co. putting in a knife. Most of their knives uh, come apart quite simply. Uh, there's a lot of Loctite on these screws. Yep, all of them. Oh, wow! Oh. That was either the beginnings of stripping a screw or this bit. Well, super hope it was the bit. Yeah, I need a different driver. Where's my wheel? There we go. I just need the, uh, need some added torque here. There we go. I should have started with this, guys. Whenever you're dealing with Loctite, you're best off to be using a, a stubby driver like this. It just gives you that added torque to just really get get it turning when there's this much Loctite. There we go. Okay, back to the pivot. So I guess this is going to be the speed bump here. This side is not quite as easy as the other side. The other side just slid right off. I mean, you were there. You saw it. <laughs> but uh, not this side, guys. This side is uh, a little bit more frustrating. But we'll get her out. Huh. Well... I'm going to do something that I would probably always tell you guys not to do. And that's use a knife as a prying tool. There we go. That's really in there, guys. Someone at Spider Co. does not want us to take this apart. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I am stupid, guys. You actually have to take the, uh, the pocket clip off to get this side off. And I probably just maybe slightly bent that... Uh, that liner there trying to pry this out. Six, so that's gonna be a T6. Huh. Yeah, I should have realized that. I should have just taken the whole knife apart to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, I'm always looking to cut some kind of corner, I guess. Okay, these don't quite have the same level of Loctite in them as the body body screws did, which is nice. There we go. Yeah, that was the problem. So I got to say, I'm like, I, I never thought from the first time that I held a spider co that I would end up with more spider co's than anything else. Uh, but it seems to have happened to the point where I even have doubles. Like I have two smocks. I have two shamans now. 
Um, yeah, and then I have a PM2, a PM3. Uh, I just got a Yojimbo. And yeah, I think that's it for Spydercos. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then put the clip back on, which will hold these two together, which is annoying, but it is true. There we go. Man, like, Flytanium, it's just, it's just as easy to put on their aftermarket scales as it is to put on the factory scales. Like, listen, the, the, those black zirconium met and boss scales that I have, those are amazing. And those did go on really well. And I have a set of black zirconium met and boss scales on one of my spider coast mocks and the same thing, but the machining with flytanium is just a little bit better, which makes it totally ridiculous because being better than the Metten Boss scales, machine-wise, is uh, a feat on its own. Okay, so the, put the washer back. And this is going to be more difficult than doing the other side because now the compression lock is going to try to stop this knife from going back together. But because of that lock bar, it really gives you, just gets you in the right spot. Uh, of course, it's not centered, but we'll see if we can change that. Okay, so we're going to switch back to the T10 to put the pivot in. Oh, the knife's trying to open on me. Yeah, of course, that is definitely, oh, there we go, centered, okay. That's uh, not what I was expecting. Okay, so the last two body screws. Sorry I've been so quiet. It's it's really hard to, to take these things apart and put them back together while still making conversation, guys. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried it. And anyone who's a content creator uh, can relate, I'm sure, assuming they've ever done a similar video. <clears throat> so, like, big ups to all the people who can do this. Like... I did consider time-lapsing this, and I think I will next time. Oh yeah, that's tight. Hmm. Huh. She's centered, though. 
Maybe we can loosen that action just a little bit. Oh, that's a uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm a fan of these scales. These are really nice and they weigh a ton. So I don't know, I don't remember what uh, a stock shaman weighs. I think it's almost six ounces maybe. With brass flitanium scales, oh, not grams, ounces. With brass flitanium, it, it is 9.19 ounces. That is a really heavy knife. I think that's more than these black zirconium scale. It is, I can tell just by holding it. 8.43 and 9.18. This has got to be my heaviest knife now. Yeah, the brass PM2 comes in at uh, 6.37. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty ridiculous. And the action, the action is smoother than my other shaman. Oh, no, they're about the same. Uh, I'm very happy with this addition. Um, the brass might be an overkill weight-wise, but, uh... These feel really nice. Um, uh, I've also been looking into um, forcing a patina on brass and copper. Um, from what I can tell, it seems to work better on copper. Um, but we might try it on the brass as well. Um, another spider co that I just picked up is this Yojimbo, which I've been looking at for a really long time. Um, I really like the Warncliffe, uh, blade shape on this knife. This knife was, uh, designed specifically for self-defense, which is something I'm never going to use it for. Um, that's not why I carry knives. I, I'm pure EDC. I'm opening boxes for the most part. Um, however, I bought this knife to mod it out. And uh, I found some really cool scales from DNA Lasering. Um, and I'm waiting for them to come. And then I'll do a video on uh, switching those up. Uh, I, think, I think in that one, I, and from now on, I think I will just cut together the disassembly and assembly of things. And uh, uh, time lapse it. Uh, because as I'm doing it, I forget that I'm not talking, and um, I'm sure no one wants to just watch a, someone be silent and take apart a knife. Um, wow. Yeah, this was worth it for sure. Um, the Shaman is not a cheap knife. It's about $300 Canadian. Um, but it is a... It, it is a fantastic knife, and being on washers instead of bearings, um, you don't have to clean it as often. There's a lot less um, headache with going with a washer-style knife. Uh, these scales are freaking heavy, guys. They're really heavy. Um, if you're not a fan of weight and you're you're going to get third-party scales for the shaman, you might want to go the titanium route. Um, because this is a nine-ounce knife now. That is, I, I, yeah, that's the heaviest knife I have. It has to be. Um, but it's really nice. Um, so I, I I can't say enough good things about flytanium. Um, I can, I can guarantee for sure that if you ever buy flitanium scales, that they are going to go on the knife you're trying to put them on, um, as easily as the stock scales. 
um, for sure. Uh, their machining is just is unparalleled by any other company aside from like you know the the original manufacturer of whatever knife it is that you're modifying. But uh, yeah, the Spyderco Shaman is a fantastic knife and uh, I'm really excited to further modify these, whether it's a force patina or I get uh, these scales engraved. I'm obviously also going to switch up this god-awful uh, stock clip. Um, yeah, this is, I'm definitely going to be carrying this for the next few days. I can't believe that that perfectly recentered. Um, this time I didn't have to do anything special to recenter that blade. Once it was all put together, it just centered right up. And, uh, yeah, this is smoother than my original now. Um, so I couldn't be more happy with this mod. Um, but I am looking forward heavily to showing you guys the scales that are going to go on this Yojimbo. They're from DNA Lasering. Um, you can probably guess which uh, which ones they're going to be, uh, because there's only one, two, I think three options for the Yojimbo. Um, so go in the comments and try to guess which ones uh, I picked. Um, it'll be cool to see how many of you are right. Yeah, so that's the Yojimbo. It, I can't wait to show you guys. The scales are going to be so freaking cool. But anyway, that's my new shaman, and uh, I was glad to show you how to switch the scales. Um, but next time, it definitely is going to be time-lapsed, uh, because I make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, guys, uh, have fun modifying your knives, and uh, come back for more, because I'm going to be doing some heat anodizing. I'm going to be switching up some more scales on other knives, and uh, a lot of new stuff, guys. So take care. Goodbye.